Hey, hello friends. Uh, welcome to uh, George's uh, Azure Learning YouTube channel. Today's video, we want to discuss about Azure Virtual Desktop AVD uh, connection, network connections. I think a lot of uh, people, firewall team, and having issue uh, seeing what ports needs to be open, what URL, um, you know, what needs to work uh, AVD infrastructure. Um, let's say your company has a complete uh, lockdown uh, AVD infrastructure. It doesn't want you to allow anybody to use uh, uh, you know that is not intended for so let's get started so i have this open up the azure virtual desktop network connection you can see here uh, how the network connection is made you can see a square here uh, that is the avd uh, uh, infrastructure that is completely managed by microsoft azure we don't need to worry about anything about this one and the rd web um, RD Gateway, RD Broker. RD stands for Remote Desktop. So Remote Desktop Gateway is the one actually uh, control the traffic between the client and the session host. So just to give you a little bit um, a background about the uh, uh, this infrastructure, there will be a session host. Session host is actually where the that's a VM, Azure VM. That that's where a client will be connecting to. And the session host will be having a, um, it will be joint to domain, Azure Active Directory domain services. Uh, is it on-prem or a server in Azure? So it will be a local Active Directory joined to the domain. And um, this Active Directory uh, should, a, should a requirement for now. It might change because uh, nowadays we can actually do the session host joint to a Azure, Azure AD rather than a local AD. So let's talk about that later, but this session host has to join to your domain uh, in local AD and the local AD where their all users, computers, uh, groups and everything, and that will be synced to Azure AD Connect through uh, TCP uh, 443 port and it will be connecting to Azure Active Directory. So when, try, uh, when a client try to access, client can use the you know browser uh, HTML browser or you can use um, the remote desktop client. The remote desktop client signal is this one. So I have this one uh, remote desktop client you can uh, download and install. So this remote desktop client will once you log in with the email address uh, it will be authenticated to uh, the workspace. Uh, it will be uh, subscribed to the work workspace. So I have uh, now subscribe you can unsubscribe and subscribe it. So basically if you unsubscribe so I'm using the email address to log in. And once you uh, log in with the email address and password, uh, if you have AD Connect Sync, the password will be same for local AD and uh, Azure AD. Uh, once you once you log in, it will be authenticated with Azure AD. And once you uh, log uh, authenticated with Azure AD, this host is always connected to the local AD, and you can see where the, how the traffic flows through. So here again from the client side, there's two types of uh, communication take place. One is from the client. That means and the client means wherever you're trying to connect to the session host. That's a one connection client to the session host. Uh, before going to client to session host, we can make it uh, to uh, break it up to. So client will connect to the gateway first. So what needs to be open here? If it is uh, going through a public internet, definitely everything will be open. And let's say if you are doing from a company office, um, you know, customer or a company office, then if it is locked down, then you need to open a 443 port, 443 port, uh, feed, uh, uh, you know, this only 443 needs to be opened. Uh, that's regarding the ports, but it also use some of the URLs uh, to connect to the gateway. So that's the one thing, okay? That's customer has to manage uh, to connect to the uh, uh, gateway uh, uh, 443 and then URL will show you later little bit, in, li in a little bit. And the session host also needs to communicate it to the gateway, meaning the AVD infrastructure. So session host also uh, connecting with the TA 443 and you can see RDP data going to TLS, not the TCP port. Uh, the data communication uh, is called a reverse connect transport. So how does it work, right? So it has to it has to show you the remote desktop. So data has to pass through. So instead of using the RDP port 3389, it uses the port 443. 
So that connection what you are else needs to be open between session host and the gateway. So session host will uh, connect to the gateway and the client also will connect to the gateway. And once the uh, uh, this is X kind of a middleman or you can say that it is in the middle to facilitate the uh, traffic between the client and session host. So any any traffic will go through with uh, gateway only. So gateway is the uh, mechanism in between that will make you a secure communication. This is a very important point reverse connect transport. Azure Virtual Desktop is using a secure reverse connect transport for establishing the remote session and for carrying RDP traffic. Unlike the on-premises remote desktop services deployment, reverse connect transport does not use a TCP listener to receive incoming RDP connection. So it will try to connect first uh, to the session host and the reverse traffic comes through. Then only you can have see the uh, uh, display and everything, the remote desktop. Uh, that outboard connect connectivity is going through the HTTPS connection, not a TCP connection. So HTTP connection and it is a TLS 1.2 uh, transport uh, secure uh, connection. So that's why uh, WVD is uh, Azure Azure WVD is uh, very very Azure Virtual Desktop is uh, secure. And um, you can you can see uh, you can see that the connection uh, sequence uh, if you are. Uh, um, you can go through this. Um, this is uh, very good to know. And TLS 1.2, right? Transport layer. Uh, 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 TLS stands for Transport Layer Security. The Transport Layer Security 1.2 is the uh, most secure uh, uh, connection for now. Uh, you know, unless SSL and everything, this TLS 1.2 is the most secure. Uh, you can see from the screen that the required URLs for Azure Virtual Desktop. So this, uh, as I said earlier, there is a two connects, uh, two type of connection is uh, established. One is from the client to the gateway, and then one is from gateway to the session host. So deploy in order to deploy and make Azure Virtual Desktop available to users, you must allow specific URLs that your session host can access them anytime. So users also need to be able to connect to a certain URLs to access their uh, AVD resources. So this is basically, let's say you just need to something, you have Azure Firewall or you have a, another third party firewall, Polo Alto or uh, even Meraki uh, or any other uh, um, uh, Cisco firewall devices. Any devices uh, is blocking uh, uh, to, to this URL, then you need to open it up. So if it doesn't work, if it doesn't work, the first thing. So basically, you can see the following table is the URLs your session host VM needs to access your virtual desktop. This is session host to virtual desktop. Login.microsoft. Everything is going through 443. There is uh, uh, at least uh, some IP address. Uh, one is uh, some AT as well, right? So we have finished transferring the URL fees for agent traffic. We no longer support the following URLs. So let's say if you are already using this URL, you don't need to, you can just uh, remove that. Let's say you, you this previously we need to mention one by one. Login.microsoftonline.com443 uh, asterisk.wvd.microsoft.com443 these all, but these all replaced. Now you don't need to have all these URLs, you just need to use one URL. Uh, that's what you're talking about. We have finished transition, transitioning the URLs we use for agent traffic. We no longer support the following URLs. To prevent your session host from showing a needs assistance status, do this. You must allow only one URL. You just need to put this one. Asterix.pro.warm.ingest.monitor.core.windows.net if you are not already, you, are, you should remove the following URLs if you explicitly allow them. So URL, this URL, you can actually take it out and then put it. The following table is the URL session host virtual machine might also need to access for other devices. This is another URL we needed. And um, so we need to make sure uh, this one is the, from the client. This URL is from the client to Client to connect to the virtual desktop, the following URL. 
at this one i use the url check tool uh, we can also use a tool to check what url is blocking so it's it is uh, inbuilt uh, this tool is inbuilt under the uh, infra agent so once you once you deploy a, a session host uh, it will automatically install a agent but uh, you can also install manually as well so you just need to download the agent uh, in infra agent and then um, if once you install if you go into that path cd so program files and uh, this one if you go in there uh, i can actually yeah run this through uh, and go make sure you go into the correct uh, agent it may not be the this agent version so you need to navigate to that um, folder and then uh, you need to run this command it's called wvd agent url tool uh, when you once you run that tool it will give you a screenshot of a scenario where you need to unblock uh, so in this example they have given one example not accessible to url these two urls uh, is blocked it's not accessible you need to unblock this url in the firewall and then these all accessible urls so the output should look like uh, you have unblocked all the recorded so it will be if you unblock there is no issue there is no url is blocking then you can see not accessible url there is nothing so this is means uh, everything is uh, unblocked uh, is working fine okay and uh, this is for uh, one uh, uh, host vm session host if you have another user having issue you can just uh, run this uh, tool uh, because this tool is already there once you have the agent installed and then you can find out what url is blocking thank you guys for watching um see you on next video